y'all. So I'm back with another video today. Uh, it's gonna be in one of my uh, PVP builds I had made a couple days ago. This was inspired by another YouTuber called Cryptonomous. He's a PC player. I'm on the PS5. Uh, he inspired me to do this build. Not gonna lie, this is one of the best builds I ever seen on YouTube. It's like very creative. Like I said, you got hell of like a lot of uh, survivability and a lot of damage. This is like 1.6 million armor. I got like what. 48 crit chance, 109 crit damage, and then I got unbreakable. So, either way, I'm still gonna survive if somebody pop my armor. Cause I got like how much? I got like uh, 35,000 armor regen with ma oh, with maxed out memento stacks. I got like 76,000 armor regeneration. So it, it's definitely a good build. Uh, mind you, this build is not nowhere near optimized. I can have a better capacitor, a better mass. Like my status effects roll. It, not even on all my pieces. I got a I'm running firm handshakes. This is the worst piece I got on this bill. I'm still looking for better ROs. So once I get it maxed out, I may make an updated video about this bill. But this is the first part of the video. I got a uh, second part of the video. They're gonna be the gameplay of the bill in the dark zone. Me running one v ones and me fighting in like three v what like one v four, one v threes. Like this this bill can really like keep you alive in those situations. Uh, my t okay, uh, first we're going to start with the mask. Okay, this is a uh, golden gear mask. Uh, I'm running a, I'm running a two-piece golden. So I can get the uh, status effect and armor regeneration for that one. So this mask right here is pretty good roll. It's not really real well optimized, but it's okay. Uh, chest piece, a guard roll. Uh, Fenris chest piece. I say uh, you can use Fenris or even, uh, or even an exotic chest piece like the this one. But since it's like it's only it's only a, a two uh, red bill, I said Fenris because this uh, the damage for the assault rifle for the capacitor. This is God roll. You see, I wish I had the God roll mod, but you see, this is a uh, unbreakable chest piece onto the uh, holster. This is a uh, founder uh, Bellstorm uh, armory holster, maxed out uh, armor, and maxed out status effect. My perfect situation for this holster would be maxed out armor. Maxed out status effect and maxed out crit chance or crit damage. Either one. I'm still looking for a better roll. I got this one right here, but it's not maxed out armor like like this one is. So it really don't drop drop it too much. Is it 1.5 from 1.6? But I just like having a 1.6. It, it, it make me feel better like I survived longer. But uh, on to the next one. Is this is uh, some knee pads. Golden. My second uh, second piece of golden. Uh, this is a really trash road. It just like I got two max uh, uh, attributes on it. My core attribute could be way better. I just don't have a, a better one. I got this one. I got these down here, but these for a different build. I went for a different build, so I'm not trying to mess those up. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, pretty much the uh, knee pads. And for the gloves, I'm running the uh, the name uh, firm handshake for Sokolov. Cause I'm right now I'm, I'm running. Uh, the grudge, which is perfect, addictive. Uh, killing an enemy with status effect apply grants you, you and all allies within 20 meters, 18% crit chance, 18% crit damage. So I'm running this talent, which is pretty good in uh, group situations. And plus, my 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 for me, it put me over crit cap and give me crit damage for like even I swap out the up the talent. So it, that's a pretty good combination. Uh, firm hands chasing uh, vindictive, perfect vindictive on the grudge. And lastly, my uh, my second piece of exotic, my only exotic gear besides the weapon, is a memento. Yeah, everybody know how memento work. It's just a, a pretty good talent. With pretty good talent, on kill you get like a, a tag to drop from the people like kill confirm. Well, the talent is called kill confirm. You get five percent weapon damage, ten percent bonus armor, five percent skill efficiency for each one uh, of the uh, tags you pick up. Max stacks thirty. So once you get all thirty stacks, it's like pretty pretty OP in my opinion. It's pretty a pretty OP build, OT uh, OP uh, talent on the book bag. Secondly, uh, third weapon, which is very important. This is people may sleep on this uh, build in his hand. Uh, this uh, side arm, which is a pistol, is the card, the uh, the name one, which give you a uh, which give you uh, a skill tier. So when, like once I have I have my pistol out, as you see, I got like I don't know, as you see, I got three skill builds in the in the bottom left. Once I have when I have this pistol in my hand, plus I got perpetuation on it, so I get headshot and it grants me 50% status effect damage and duration for the next skill, for the next stat, uh, status effect I apply. So which is that's very important because like my status effect already lasts a long time because I'm running EMP. And what I ain't gonna pay me a fire uh, sticky bomb, burn sticky bomb, 
and a uh, fire started camera. So that's a pretty, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good example of how this build work. But uh, the next clip gonna be some gameplay of me one v one and uh, one v four, and like this is pre a pretty good build. So y'all, y'all try it out. Let me know how how it works for y'all. Yeah, catch me in the next video. I just picked the two. Oof. I'm gonna pull up too. Okay. Oh, that's a I'm going to this up and I'm going to throw the grenade to my right. Big Yeah. 